but if you saw my previous video I was back testing uh, pound against the uh, Japanese yen um, today I would like to I mean um, back to euro USD euro USD okay um, and see how my strategies are how is it working out this week okay so if you're here if you're here for the first time uh, my name is Ferdinand and I love trading um, and with that being said um, if you want to see more of how my strategy you know plays out uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you comment uh, and make sure you like um, comment if you have any thoughts on my strategy um, like if you do like the video and subscribe if you want to see more um, so let's uh, let's start off this week so how does my start uh, my strategy works you know I usually tend to explain this at the start of my video so the way my strategy works is you look for the highs and the lows during the Asian session and then during the London session if the candle stick um, crosses the high then that means it's gonna create another high so we get we get in the trade as soon as you see the candle crossing the previous high if it's crossing the previous high then you prepare to take a buy but if it's crossing the previous low then you prepare to take a sell okay I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how it works um, and I'm gonna be trading uh, Euro USD um, and uh, this is just a back test guys just to show you guys how my strategy works out so this week um, let's see Monday 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 okay Monday the 10th okay Monday the 10th right okay as you can see here guys um, during the Asian session right the Asian session here is the Asian I can't even say it. here's the Asian session right so we're gonna find the highs and the lows so this is the lows uh, of the Asian session and uh, identify the high okay I would say the high is here before the London opens at 8 o'clock is it will be here for me I'll just place it here yeah that will be my highest okay because the Asian session you know usually starts um, at uh, 10 o'clock 10 o'clock our London session um, so I'll place my highs here and then here's my lows okay so what we want to do is during the London session you want to identify if the candlestick right like in this video I'm not using candlestick I'm using the line um, because I prefer the lines uh, as opposed to the candlestick um, just because with the candlestick it just has a lot of noise um, and and I don't want to do that um, and so I just stick to the the line okay so as you can see here we see we have we've identified the highs and the lows during the Asian session and now during the London session we wait okay we wait and see if we're gonna cross the highs or the lows okay so during the London session London session opens at 8 o'clock we didn't see any 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 cross we didn't see the line crossing the previous highs and then we didn't see the line crossing the previous low so that means no trade guys that means no trade and now we wait during the US session okay during the New York session we still live we still so you still live where 
um, you leave the highs and the lows like the way you've drawn the line yeah you leave it as it is okay you don't change anything and now here we can see here we can see that oh we've got a new high and as soon as it crosses the previous highs we enter the trade so we enter the trade and put our stop loss below okay and you either go for a one to one ratio or two to one ratio it depends on your trading style okay and uh, I'm only providing you guys a strategy that works for me okay so here if you would have taken a one to one ratio this would have been a win trade if you would have taken a two to one this would have been a win trade okay and that's a you take your win and you leave the market and you come back the next day and then do more analysis okay so we are the market you know we are the market we've made our profit we're out so now we wait for the next day tuesday okay tuesday here's a tuesday so again we identify the highs during the asian market and we identify the lows okay and that's the low there for me okay and then during the London session well, what we see here we can see that the line crosses the previous low okay and as soon as it crosses the previous low we enter so you get in okay and you put your stop loss above and then as you can see here beautiful beautiful trade you take your win and you leave the market okay and you come back for the next day so that's like if you were trading this week with this strategy this is two wins and zero losses okay either you go for a one to one or two to one ratio okay and then here we go here we have another one here during the Asian session we identify the highs and we identify the lows okay and then here what's interesting here is that we've crossed during the London session we've crossed the previous lows and you know this would have been a one-to-one -one ratio but depending on your trading style but then it went back in it went back in so this could have been a win trade and this could have been actually a losing trade depending on how you go about it if you're going for one-to-one -one ratio depending on the peeps how many peeps you know you're trying to risk here you could earn yourself a little profit okay and then we see we see that price crosses the previous highs and then we enter the market you see with this strategy it goes both way buy or sell you know if you don't get the opportunity on selling you know you can buy um, during the during the session and here we can see that price crosses the previous high and then boom skyrocket look at it it's beautiful um so and then uh wednesday wednesday again we look for the highs during the asian session i've got so many lines out now so during the asian session we look for the lows so this is the low okay and let me just delete this and then here this is the the high I can't really identify the highs here before the long session so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the high somewhere here yeah so the high could be there so now you want to see um, 8 o'clock 8 o'clock yeah 8 o'clock yeah there we go that's the highs here so the highs is there and then what happened we see a continuous a continuous to the upside 
you enter the market and then you write it yeah beautifully and then now we want to see what happened here Thursday Thursday that's today so we place our lows and replace what our highs okay replace our lows and replace our highs and then we we'll wait during the London session has the price has the prices has the prices crossed the previous highs no it didn't did it cross the previous low no it didn't so that means no trade that means we don't trade it um, and there you go that's uh, simple see my strategy is very simple it's no it's, it's, it's not it doesn't complicate it's simple and I think that's why I love using the line because say for example if I'm using the candles okay this it's great but I feel like for me here there's a lot of noises you see the green candle um, the red candle is just too many noises so I like to avoid that and use the line instead so there you go guys uh, let me know what you think about uh, this strategy um, and for me this is the one strategy that I'm gonna be using okay and depending on the market sometimes this strategy might not work okay um, and depending on the, the pair that you're trading it might not work all the time but I feel pretty strong about this strategy um, and uh, this is my journey to you know mastering these strategies and also being able to share it with you guys um, as well um, and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be starting to take the challenge uh, 100k challenge uh, with this strategy um, and uh, yeah so if you want to continue um, seeing how my strategy you know plays out um, you know stick around make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you comment below your thoughts and uh, make sure you like um, the video if you do uh, thank you so much and uh, I'll see you next time